Hey everyone, Ryan here. Uh, I spent this morning combining my conversation starter campaign and my content campaign into a shareable uh, campaign that everybody can use if you want to use it. And I'll just take a minute to explain these. You might have seen me talking about these in the past separately. Uh, but basically, uh, my, my pr preferred approach <laughs> with new leads is to kind of do this one to seven day uh, sequence of texts and emails that just try to get people to respond and start talking. So if we look at the first text uh, in this campaign, you'll see it says, hi, thanks for stopping by. I'm employing a little hack here. You see I've separated stopping. It might look like a little typo, but by putting a stop word in the text, it'll stop the automated uh, unsubscribe messaging and reduced <laughs> unsubscribes. Little hack there. But thanks for stopping by and looking at the property in front of us now. Do you currently own or rent in the area or are you thinking about a move here? Now, uh, I'll probably revise this for myself and I recommend you do too. It's not a huge deal, but I might say instead of in the area, I might say Pinellas County in my case or a specific city. But I've designed this shareable campaign so that it'll work out of the box for everybody without these kinds of modifications. Just know that you can go ahead and kind of can't copy the, the individual templates and swap them in, put your own spin on them. Uh, then on day two, uh, I have a make sure the property alerts are set up. This is key. You want to make sure that every lead you get, every, almost every contact in KV Core is on some kind of property alert. Even if they bought a house in the past from you or they're just your sphere, there's always an appropriate property alert set up. Day two, we attempt the phone call. I do things a little differently. Um, I think uh, the times we live in, and, and I know there's differences of opinion on this, that uh, calling people right away is kind of a waste of time. That's just my personal opinion. So I put it on day two and I give the automation time to get the automated text out and get a response that way. Uh, and then what we do is we go to day four, we attempt to get a listing. It says, do you own a house right here? And then it'll send them to your sell page to get the property value. Or it says, hey, it's a computer generated estimate of value. These aren't always very accurate. If you want a more detailed report, reply and let me know your address. Uh, on day five, we start to get into some uh, tips and tricks about how to find motivated sellers. On day 14, on day uh, seven, we check in and ask them if the alerts they've been getting, if we've set up alerts, they've probably gotten a few, if they're accurate and cool. So we send a text or an email about that. And then uh, we continue on with a lot of emails uh, with a few texts peppered in uh, after the initial conversation starter. And this is the point at which the longer term kind of follow up starts to kick in right here uh, alongside your property alerts which also function as longer term follow-up so we start to go start our home and investment property this will be kind of an informative content post uh, that that mentions maybe hey when you buy a starter home you might want to buy something with multi units then we do a fixer upper mortgages uh, thing here that kind of positions your mortgage guy as somebody they might want to talk to uh, renting versus buying and then you'll see here uh, we kind of get into this this um, approach where we're using videos from YouTube and other places about real estate stuff to provide rich content and value without having to create anything. So it links out to a great video from Khan Academy about renting versus buying the pros and cons. So we start to leverage other people's content. And it kind of continues like this uh, with the, the content spaced out over the course of a year. You'll see it's mostly emails and then a few texts peppered in but really the main main uh, idea here is that we're trying to get the conversation right away if we don't get a conversation and we don't want to change the campaign to something more relevant to their situation then this longer term thing will keep going until the person responds anyway i will put the share code next to this video if you're on youtube it'll be down in the description if you're on facebook it'll be below the video uh, all you need to do to use the share code is you uh, copy it and then you come on into all your campaigns right here and then you come to this little box right here. Boom, right there. You come to that and you pop your share token in and it'll pull in all the email templates, all the text templates and all the ordering uh, for the Ryan Hartman combo starters and content campaign. That's what it'll be called, called. And remember, you have the ability to change all of this. All you need to do is create new templates or edit the existing templates and pop them into the campaign. It's not super hard to do. Uh, it just takes a few minutes, but this should give you a nice, nice base for a year for any type of lead that you're generating for the most part. And, uh, and, and, you know, eliminate that kind of hesitation that I see a lot of people having where they're like, well, I need to go write a whole bunch of emails. And truth is you really don't. If you have property alerts going and you send a few strategic initial texts and emails that try to get people to respond to you, all this stuff later on, uh, it'll help, you know, pull people back into your fold. It'll keep your name in front of them, uh, but you don't need to overthink it. You'll notice here that most of these are just quick little emails that link out to something on YouTube 
and uh, th that'll do the trick just to keep people seeing your name and engaging with you. So hope you enjoy this. Go ahead and grab the share code down below for my combo starters and content campaign.